Hello everyone and welcome back to the very last day of 2014. This is a look back on my history of YouTube. It's also the very last video that you will see from me for 2014. If I can get it edited in time, which I'm going to have to speedily edit this one together. Um, I've compiled a list of every single video that I've done since I mainly started making videos um, around May time. Now, um, I deleted some old videos from my channel because I didn't think they was up to scratch as what I class as up to scratch in terms of my video quality and things that I do. So, let's just go in order of what I've got, and in May, I made a streetlight video to showcase how to make a very simple streetlight. It received 83 views, it was a good, great tutorial, and one of my best tutorial videos at the time of making it, which I was extremely happy with. Um, now, you notice that I'm only including from May. There was history before this date of my channel, but it was on a low laptop, which the streetlight was actually recorded on my laptop and everything, but... Um, I, I thought I'd leave it in there anyway, and I've not deleted the video from my channel just because I think it's one of my best videos to keep. And before that, I did get videos that got like 500 views. I was changed texture pack in Minecraft Pocket Edition, but they still didn't meet the things that I um that I kind of make today. And I I wanted to delete those and start a, a new kind of. So, yep, the street light, and I also created a wishing well and reward system video, which got 55 views and another great tutorial and I think tutorials may be the way to go for my channel in the future now moving on into June we got the sixth episode of Omnicraft SMP which I did make episodes before that like I said they were on my laptop and this very day well I recorded this episode um, on the day that I got my gaming computer which was the 27th of June my birthday and this video came out on the 28th so the day after my birthday I worked on this with my friend from school called Reese, and yeah, he came over to my house, he built me a, a house, and I decided to time lapse the whole thing, and it worked out really nice. Received 83 views and 10 likes, and I overall call this my Kickstarter back into YouTube, because that was a point from then on that I, that I recorded more frequently, made videos more frequently, and had the technology to make videos a lot more professionally than I previously had been able to. Also in June, you ate Omnicraft UHC Season 1 had started. The episodes went down really well and you all loved that, so UHC was a good thing to do. In July, I released my very first snapshot video onto my channel about the addition of bunnies to the game. This received 43 views and went down very nicely indeed. I also did some Omnicraft events, which got some great views too. You should be seeing those in the background playing. While I'm talking over this, I did Hole in the Wall and I believe Parkour. I also released Omnicraft Episode 7, which was my last SMP episode on the Omnicraft server. The map then got reset around this time. I don't know when it got reset. It may have been um, before this or... Well, it won't have been before, but it may have been quite a bit after this. I, I don't know, but this was the last episode that I spent on it because I did move on to another server, which... Uh, I guess we'll get to one a little bit because I went kind of full free time into YouTube and I became manager of economy as well, which um, I was followed by a tour of the server from me, which um, I managed the server for some time, which was started on the Omnicraft server, and I created a little tour of the server on my YouTube channel to say this is the launch of the server, here we are, and whatever else, which was really quite good and I enjoyed making the video. This was also the launch of the Happy Craft mod pack by Happy Killer. It was also my first video on there, um, but I've never made any since because Happy Killer went inactive from Omnicraft and I don't know why, so that's why there's not been any further Happy Craft since that. But the mods does still exist, there's just not con no more continuous support and the server eventually got dropped, so I had to stop the series. My economy series started off with me managing my own town. We kickstarted that with, uh, it was called building a tunnel or something, and I was building essentially an underground railway tunnel. And that series did get stopped when its economy stopped, which I believe it stopped around August or September time, but it, me and Gunnar tried to revive it ever since it had to stop, and we'll get on to the new projects that are coming really soon. So... Agrarian Sky series was also starting in a month of July. This was not a great series for me, really. It didn't get quite a lot of views at all. And overall, I just didn't really enjoy playing the mod pack at all. And in the end, I decided to delete the world, which you've seen in the final episode. 
I also released a second Wishing Well tutorial. It went down very well. This was around the time of me going on holiday to Cornwall. And I believe it was published while I was there. So that was reasonably great. In August, RMC was opened. And I made an opening video to celebrate. This was the launch of my server. Which has now merged with Omnicraft. Which I'll get onto in a little while. Um, I've not even, I'm not going to cover that in the video really, but I'll talk about it a tiny bit at the end for you guys that want to know. That's going to be like a new year thing, and those over at Omnicraft already know about that. I've also started in August a captive Minecraft series with the gun XP of Omnicraft, which we had a lot of fun playing the, that map, and unfortunately the map did get wiped from the server, we was unable to continue the series, and that was why that unfortunately ended. In August I also met False Symmetry from the on a block news show which I recorded personally and uploaded to my YouTube channel. I used to love the block news um the block news shows and it's sad to say that the live shows did get stopped. I believe block news is still going to be a lot around though, just with its fuzzy out of the question which I used to enjoy it with both of them being there. I'm not sure how things are going to go in the new year with Oliver vs Creepy running it. I don't know how things are going to go with block news, but anyway, I did meet False Symmetry for the first time and got to ask her a question which was really good. In August, I also made my debut on the SimpleCraft server, a server hosted by Mr. Pepper of Omnicraft. And I was welcomed there quite nicely. I did a few series on there until um, no one decided to come on the server after a while. And then the pull plug was just pulled on the server and we thought, eh, we're not going to continue this. So we just decided to stop the server. September was a pretty slow month for me. I decided to start a solo captive Minecraft series following the end of Mining Guns. And that didn't really go down too well, and I, in the end, that series was stopped. But Heartbleed SMP was also launched in the month of September, and I broke my wrist kickbox in and therefore I decided to start a Dirt 3 series due to me not being able to use a mouse until I got a proper cast put onto my arm, which in the end I was then able to continue and make one more episode of Captive Minecraft until that series decide, until I decided to stop that series, which mainly due to lag issues, things like that, and also losing motivation to continue in the series. And in October, I published my best video that I have ever made that I absolutely loved making. It's hopefully going to be playing in the background. I hope that I can get all this edited. And yeah, walking through 1.8 to this day, it's got 301 views and 13 likes. It's my best video that I've ever made. I put my whole time into that. I spent absolutely ages working on that. And yeah, that was an absolutely great video that I extremely love putting together. And if it gets 25 likes, I believe it's 25, I set a like target. And if it hits it, then yeah, I will release a behind the scenes video. You've got my word on that. And I also just started, decided to start a Logic Gates and their users series, which got a lot of views and was quite hit well. And people kind of liked the series. I just decided to stop it due to lack of gates to look into and also views start to drop on the series and of course I like to do something to put a lot of time and effort into something good so I went down the SMP route after here but I also started a solo series on the old Hermitcraft world which has been my only episode on that series now I've still got the map for it which I could release some more in the new year I just thought well we're going to reset the Heartbleed map and that's exactly what happened as well in October, as well as the launch of Omnicraft UHC Season 6 with me and Soccer JJ. So yeah, we reset Heartbleed and I decided to just put the Hermitcraft World solo thing on hold because I want to put full thing into SM Heartbleed. SMP Season 2. <laughs> so on the 16th of November, I got Fiber Broadband. I started live streaming to Twitch a lot. And I mean a lot, like every weekend, and I was live streaming quite regular. And I really loved getting that. That enabled me to do more videos, more regular videos, and everything that I loved doing. All videos released in November, though, were Heartbleed episodes. There were no videos that weren't Heartbleed. It may have been a bad choice to make, considering that it didn't get too good views. And I may have lost quite a few subscribers by doing that. I didn't realise that that's all I did for the whole month. But looking back, that could have been a bad decision to make for the channel overall. In December, I made a Sony Vegas Pro 12 Basics tutorial video. And the Awareness Craft event happened on the 20th to the 21st of December, which I also made a promo video for. Now, Sony Vegas Pro Basics tutorial shows how I edit with Sony Vegas, shows what I like to do with it, things like that, and hopefully how I'm going to edit this with. Um, I'm pushing it quite late. 
on the 31st of the 12th, 14th, the last day of uh, 2014, I am recording this, I've got to speedily edit it, and it's like uh, 7 o'clock, so yeah, I'll have to hurry up on that one, but the Awareness Craft event happened on the 20th to 21st of December, I made a nice promo video for that, and I took part in the UHC over there. Things didn't go t quite too well in terms of technicalities over there, and the server crashed quite a few times. I was unable to get the footage that I needed, and a creeper ended up blowing me up because I was unable to place the blocks due to a server crash. So that's all on Awareness Craft. Now over to Factorio series, which has started and been the main series of December due to the Heartbleed server ending. I literally just lost all my motivation to make Minecraft videos. I didn't want to put too much effort into a new series, considering it was like the end of this December, and I thought, well, it's nearly the holidays. It's going to be Christmas soon. I ain't got a lot of time anyway. So why not just play this game because it looks awesome so I jumped on Factorio and I've loved it ever since there's some more videos coming out on Factorio real soon, one on Friday and we've also got a surprise for you guys tomorrow, a new video a leaked photo on Twitter which I've uh, pixelated so you can kind of guess what it is, I'm not going to be replying to any guesses because I want it to be a full, it, full surprise for tomorrow so be sure to watch that now, that's going to be everything guys, this has been my tour um, my look back on 2014 and I guess I'll see you all in the new year it's been a great one it's been a great journey for me I also hit 100 subscribers I don't have the exact date I'm estimating that it was around about August time possibly September I have no idea when no it wasn't it was in uh, October because I said that if I get 100 subs walking through one point it will be released and that night got 100 subscribers and I released it and I was so happy to get that out, but yeah, that's the exact date that I hit. 100 subscribers, it would have been the walking through 1.8 release date. That's when I released the video. Okay, so that's going to be everything. I hope you've enjoyed this little video of me telling you about everything that's going on, on my channel. I hope you all have a good new year tonight, and I will too. So I'll catch you all in the new year, which would be amazing. I can't wait for what the new year's going to bring for my channel. So thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.